my friends and welcome to my youtube channel where today i am going to show you how to make a chunky single crochet basket using wool ease wow from lion brand this is a bulky number seven weight yarn that comes with 8.5 ounces per skein which is the equivalent of 66 yards for this single crochet basket you will need two skeins of this yarn i will be doing my base in this color which is called flax and then the top half of my basket and the details that I would like to add are going to be done in this color, which is called cream. We will be using a 15 millimeter crochet hook. This hook, I believe, is no longer available as it has been discontinued. I will find links to an appropriate hook and I will add them to the description for you. Getting started, I have found the end of my yarn. Now, sometimes with these thicker jumbo size yarns, they can kind of untwist at the end. So what I like to do is to just twirl them around a little bit to bring that twist back so that this way I can work all the way at the end of the yarn. Now, for this pattern, you can either chain two and work in the second chain from the hook, or if you would like, you can do a magic ring. So to begin this pattern, what we will do is we are going to create a slip knot, insert our hook, chain two, and then working in the second chain from the hook, we are going to single crochet six stitches. So here I have one, two, three, four, five, six stitches. I'm going to take the tail of my yarn, pull it tight to close up that hole, and then I am going to slip stitch to join in my sixth stitch. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And now what I like to do to try to hide my join is I pull a little bit extra out of this loop, take my hook, insert it, from back to front through both loops of this first single crochet, grab this loop, put it back on my hook, pull it through, and then taking the working yarn, pull this tight, and this helps to close up your six single crochet nicely while also hiding this join. Now, I'm going to yarn over and chain one, and I am going to place two single crochet in each of these six single crochets for a total of 12 single crochet. Now, once you get your 12 single crochet, you can come back and again, pull this tight if you need to, if it loosened up while you were working. And again, pull this yarn a little bit loose, insert your hook, in that first single crochet that you created from back to front, put your loop back over your hook and pull it through. Pull this tight. And now we're going to begin crocheting round three. For round three, we will again yarn over and chain one. And what we will do repeating all the way around is we will place one single crochet in the first stitch, two single crochet in the next stitch. So by placing the one single crochet and the two single crochet increase all the way around, you will end with 18 single crochet stitches on this next round. You're going to, again, pull your loop, take your hook out, insert your hook from back to front into that first single crochet, put your yarn over and pull this all the way through, tightening it up. And then again, we will chain one to begin the next round. So once you have created this next loop, what you will do is you will be placing one single crochet in each of the next two stitches, and then two single crochet in the third stitch for an increase. And you will repeat that one, two, and then two all the way around for a total of 24 stitches on this next round.
by increasing six stitches every round using single crochet, what will happen is you will end up with a perfectly flat circle so long as your tension matches your hook and yarn size. This yarn's a little bit squeaky if you can't hear it. Um, it probably has to do with the plastic hook. I find that sometimes some yarns and some hooks squeak. Um, this seems to be one of them. So now we're going to begin our next round by creating a chain one and we are going to single crochet one, two, three, and now in this fourth stitch, we are going to place two single crochet for an increase. Now you're going to repeat that all the way around, single crochet in the next three, and then single two single crochet in the fourth. Round five will end with a total of 30 single crochet stitches. One way to know that you are on track with your increases at the end of every round is that you will always end with a two single crochet increase in your last stitch. Onto our next round, we again will pull our yarn to create a larger loop, find our last single crochet, insert our hook from back to front, take our yarn, put it over our hook, pull through, tighten this yarn back up, chain one, and tighten that a little bit more. Chain, chain one. We are now on round six. We are going to single crochet in this first stitch and then single crochet in the next two, three, and four. And then place two single crochet in the next stitch. We'll keep repeating that all the way around for now a total of 36 stitches. As you can see working with this number seven jumbo yarn from Lion Brand, this Woolies Wow, it works up very, very quickly. Crocheting a flat circle can sometimes be difficult in the beginning to understand, but really what you're doing is you, you will have these constant two stitch increases. And one way, if you wanna keep going, to know that you're on track is you will always be placing your increase in the second stitch of the increase in the last round. So here I have these two. So without even counting, I know that when I reach these, these two increases, I'm going to place one here, one single crochet here and two single crochet in this next one. And then that, oops, I just made a half double crochet without even thinking. And then that makes it so that I can just very easily keep going with my circle without even really having to count each time. And then this way that allows me to kind of just mindlessly make this large circle. Excuse my baby in the background. He is seven months old. He's playing with his big brother who is going to be seven years old. So here we go, placing our last two single crochet increase and again pull this yarn loose we've just finished up round six and we are going to work up round seven which will be our final round of the base before we start working up the walls of the basket so again chain one single crochet in this first stitch and then single crochet in the next two, three, 
four, five. Place two single crochet in this sixth stitch for an increase and repeat that all the way around working five single crochet stitches and then two single crochet increase in the sixth stitch. So here we go to the end. We're going to place two single crochet in our last stitch for an increase. And this is now the end of our base. So just the way that we have been, we're going to pull out some extra yarn on that loop, insert, insert our hook from back to front, put the yarn over our hook, pull it through, pull this tight and chain one. Now we are going to begin working the walls of the basket. Now this last round, excuse me, this last round should have left you with 42 single crochet stitches all the way around. So now every round going forward will have 42 single crochet stitches. So we've created our chain one and working in the back loops only, we're going to create, oops, 42, my goodness, got myself tangled up here. We're going to create 42 single crochet stitches all the way around, goodness, all the way around using only the back loops. Now at first this will seem a little bit floppy, but that's just because it's the first round. Coming to the end, making my last few stitches so that I have 42. What we will do is again, pull a little bit of extra, come here to this first single crochet stitch that we put in the back loop of the first single crochet of the previous round, pull our yarn through. And now you can see, see it's kind of folding on itself a little bit. That's because it is starting, it wants to start to turn upwards. So now we will chain one and again continue working in rounds of 42 single cro stitch crochet stitches. But now we are using both loops, which will give this basket quite a bit more structure. And let's just keep going. Here I come back to the beginning again, finishing out my last few stitches, pulling a little bit of extra yarn. Inserting my hook from back to front in that first single crochet of the round, pulling it tight. And again, you can see it's starting to fold it onto itself, creating this beautiful base. Chain one, and let's do one more round of single crochet. Okay, here we are. We are going to create our last single crochet of this final round, pull our yarn, insert our hook from back to front, pull this yarn through, pull it tight. And now we have created three rounds using our base color in single crochet and we are going to switch to our next color. I am using cream and I am going to Pull this through to change colors, make this nice and tight. And now I'm going to continue working around with oops, 42 stitches, 42 single crochet stitches around with my next color. Flax and cream has such a nice contrast, doesn't it? So you can see how now that we've got a few rounds in, 
working in the back loops from the base really created this nice edge and our basket is starting to form. So here I come back to my last few stitches. After we have changed our colors, I'm going to single crochet in this last stitch. Pull my loop out a bit. Find my first stitch. Go in from back to front. Oops. Grab my yarn. Pull my loop through. Jeez, I made this stitch quite a bit tight. Pull it through. Tighten it up. Tighten down my loop. Chain one and continue my way around. Again, using all single crochets for the next 42 stitches. Okay, here I am coming to the very end of my basket. And this is going to be my last round. So we did three rounds in the base color and seven rounds in the contrasting color. And now what we're going to do to finish this off is instead of pulling this and doing it like we did before, what we're going to do is I'm going to pull my end all the way through like this. And then inserting my hook from back to front, I'm going to grab just one strand, pull this through, all the way through like this, which will now make it so that I can grab back through this last single crochet, which will give us a nice finished top. Now I should have, if you look down my side, I should have pulled quite a bit more tightly. You can see here where I pulled them tighter and they sit better, but that's okay. Now, okay, sorry. Just wanted to adjust my camera a little bit so you could see now because this basket has gotten so tall. Now, um, just so you are aware, this is what is left from the skein of cream and this is what is left of the skein of flax. So. It is going to be extremely important that you nail your gauge on this project because I used like every last little bit from these skeins. Um, so now all that's going to be left to do is to just weave in these ends. Okay, so I have just finished up my basket and I've got to say for my first time working with Woolies Wow, a jumbo sized yarn, I am very pleased with my experience using this yarn except for a couple of little snags which I feel like you can expect when it comes to a oversized yarn 